Uh, my name is Jim Gilo, Fire Chief at Pinckneyville Fire Department and also the Rural Fire Protection District, which is two uh, separate entities but combined together here that serves the city of Pinckneyville and the, and the rural area in the county. Uh, we've got 26 uh, volunteer firefighters and myself also as the chief. The city of Pinckneyville is roughly about five and a half square miles. Our fire district's uh, about 160, 165 square miles. The city has got uh, two pumpers and a reserve pumper. Our newest pumper is a, a 2011 uh, KME. And we also have uh, our rescue truck over there, for our extrication equipment, other uh, equipment that we carry. The fire district, uh, their newest pumper is a 2006 uh, Pierce. And they would also have another pumper, backup pumper, and we have our tanker here. And then we have a, a brush truck and a UTV for field and grass fires. We always like to go to the fair, and uh, as part of being in the fire service, you know, serving the community, whether it's fighting fires or public education, and um, going over to the fair, it just kind of helps to do that part, help the fire marshal's office, and uh, getting out and meeting people and the kids, and uh, just, just kind of spreading the word of, of fire prevention and fire safety. I encourage everybody, like I say, that it's always been, you know, when the clocks change, uh, time changes to uh, change your batteries. Um, the newer smoke detectors now have got the 10-year the battery in, and, um, you know, that's something as time goes on and uh, probably need to promote that a little bit more is to uh, upgrade, you know, smoke detectors. And even though it's got the 10-year battery in it, it's still make sure they're tested and are working. Um, you know, just fire safety in general, uh, always, you know, with the kids, we, uh, you know, like to uh, promote the, the having escape plans, you know, just like they do in the schools, you know, they always have their fire drills. And, you know, the same thing at home, you know, having a, a, a safe plan or a plan to uh, to get out of the house, the, the place to meet and, and uh, things like that. So, um, this year with the COVID and everybody knows a lot of activity has been canceled. Um, you know, unfortunately the fair was canceled too this year, but uh, that doesn't mean we can't still get the word out. and. Uh, you know, we'd like to you know, everybody to remain safe and hopefully next year we can get back on track and I'll you know, be at the fair again and, uh, and enjoy the crowds and people can enjoy stopping in and, and getting the, the message.